All right. Have you been thinking about selling in the UK and Europe, but you're concerned about that dirty three letter word that short for value added tax? Uh, How is that going to work? but don't let that stop you from getting sales. So to help simplify this, I'm super excited to bring on Jacob McCoy from Avast Accounting in the UK. So Jacob, first off, thank you for joining us. And second off, what is value-added tax? Yeah, thank you very much, Kevin. Um, So yeah, value-added tax is uh, essentially a tax tax added to to goods and services here in the UK and in Europe. Um, And you have it kind of along the, the whole chain of uh, the supply. So when you're when you're selling to businesses, when you're getting from suppliers, and then also when you're making the the end sales to to consumers. So if you are going to sell in the UK and Europe, you do need to make sure you're you're accounting for VAT, and you're collecting it from your customers, and you're paying it to the relevant authorities. Got it. Now you you mentioned accounting for VAT. So uh, in in the US, in a lot of cases, no, we're not U.S. tax experts here, but uh, generally speaking, Amazon takes care of it in most states for most sellers. So uh, what would be a situation that, or let's say this, how is that different than U.S. sales tax? Let's just go from a very basic standpoint. Yeah. So um, there, there are some similarities in terms of the, um, the U.S. and uh, the European and U.K. market now. Um, because of some changes that we had implemented in recent times. So um, like you've got in the US, Amazon is a marketplace facilitator in most states. So they're going to be collecting the tax and they're going to be remitting it. Um, And we do actually have uh, a similar scheme now in the EU and the UK where Amazon will deduct the the VAT and they would pay it to the authorities on your behalf. Now, um, that doesn't mean you don't need to include it in your price. So the different, the main difference is that in the US, you add it on at the checkout, but in UK and Europe, it's included in, in the selling price. So when you're pricing your product and you're, you're doing your listings, you need to make sure you've included the VAT at the relevant rate. Got it. So that's a pretty big thing there. So what you're saying is it's including the sales tax. So for example, if I went to a baseball game um, and somebody was walking up and down the stairs selling beer, and they said the beer was $12, for example, I hand them a 20, they don't calculate sales tax on top of it, which is the normal way of calculating it in the US. They would just say, okay, here's your $8 back. And then they would back out the sales tax in that equation because they're including the sales tax in the price. So you're saying everything in Europe includes the value added tax, which is essentially kind of like a sales tax. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, essentially. So yeah, if I was to go to a shop and I was to purchase a product and then I got a VAT in a VAT receipt, like I the price of the product wouldn't change, but it would break it down on the receipt saying this is the net price of the product and this mm. is the VAT for that product. So I've had lots of situations before where people start selling, um, not so much anymore because of um the the, the kind of the similar marketplace facilitator um situation that we've got going on. But prior to that happening, I had lots of uh, US based sellers. Um, who didn't like incorporate the VAT into their price and suddenly at the end of a quarter or the end of the uh-huh. month they had a VAT bill and they had to pay it and that's just an, an additional amount out of their margins which they hadn't considered. Got it. All right. So something to definitely consider there because it is included in the price. Now, what about rates? So what is the rate for VAT and is it the same everywhere? Yeah, so it differs per European country. Um, so you, you do have to consider that. You do need to look into to the relevant rates. Generally, they're they're fairly similar. So like, for example, in in all the countries where Amazon has warehouses, it ranges from 19 to 23%. Got it. So it depends on the country. It's generally in the range of 19 to 23%. So that means your price needs to account for that. So in the UK, for example, it's 20%, right? Yeah. Which makes for easy math. So basically the way it works out, if, correct me if my math is wrong, if you're selling something for 24 pounds, and I'm using that as an example just for the sake of math. One sixth of that selling price, which would be the price before VAT, add on the 20% VAT, and then that's your advertised price. So 24 pounds, 20% of that would be four pounds. And so four pounds of that is VAT. Did I did I explain that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The calculation is right uh, eventually. So yeah, it's, it's calculated based on the net cost. So obviously, 20% on 24 is higher than four, but because it's calculated on the, the, the amount before you add on the VAT, that's why it comes out of that calculation. So um, yeah, you're completely right. Okay, well, good, 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 good. So, all right. So um, now my understanding is Amazon takes care of submitting the VAT for you. So does that mean we don't have to worry about registering for VAT? 
Um, no. So you still need to register for VAT wherever you, you store products. And um, I'm talking about a US based company here. If okay. you're a UK or a European or EU based entity, the rules can slightly differ. So I'm kind of referencing a US based company. But um, yes, yeah, so you still need to be registered for VAT wherever you, um, you store your products. And essentially, if you're, you're selling just via Amazon, just via uh, the online marketplace, then you would make what are called zero rated supplies to Amazon within your VAT return. So you're still telling each authority, this is the amount I've sold. So I've sold 50,000 euros or 50,000 pounds worth, but my VAT liability is zero because all of my sales are through an online marketplace and the online marketplace is responsible for the actual collection and remittance of VAT. Got it. And they may even owe you a check at the end, right? Yeah, they, they can do. Um, so when you import products to the EU or the UK, you have to pay import VAT, which um, is, is an input tax. And essentially, as long as you're registered for VAT, you're registered under the right scheme, then you can reclaim that VAT. So if, for example, you're only selling on Amazon in the UK, you import to the UK, you pay 20% up front. Obviously, your sales, you don't have any liability because it's deducted already. So you can reclaim that VAT, which means HMRC uh, are going to send you a check or pay you back in, in some form. Got it. So HMRC is like the, the government uh, yeah. entity in the UK, for example, that handles value added tax. Now, one thing I just want to highlight is you mentioned the word scheme. So for Americans, when we think scheme and taxes, we think someone's going to jail. What does yeah. scheme mean in uh, European terms? Yeah. So in, in most um, EU countries, it's just like a standard VAT scheme that you can apply for, which is just like standard rated. In the UK, um, you can opt for like a, a flat rate scheme or, or you can opt for the standard rate scheme. Now, the flat rate scheme, um, not so relevant anymore because of the changes and because mm -hmm. of Amazon doing the deductions. But prior to the changes, you could opt for it and it meant you only paid 6.5% for the first year and 7.5% for the ongoing years instead of the 20%, um, providing you were below certain volumes of, of trade. Um, but uh, you couldn't reclaim any input tax. So the 20% you paid up front on import, which was based on the cost, not obviously the, the retail price, um, would be non-reclaimable. So although you're paying a lower rate, you can't actually reclaim claim that back. But the reason it's not so relevant anymore is because it's getting automatically deducted for you. So there's no option to automatically deduct 6.5% or 7.5%. It just takes 20%. So if you're only so, selling so the Amazon, scheme is just the method you're using to calculate it? Yeah, it's just it's called the flat rate scheme or standard right. rate scheme. It's just yeah. <laughs> and th these are actual government terms. These aren't things yeah. that people are yeah. using to try to one up the government. These are these are legit terms here. So yeah. if somebody wanted to learn more about this and get registered so that they can get set up and uh, sell in the uh, UK and Europe, where would they go? Yeah, so you can just visit um, avaskgroup.com uh, or you can just go on Google, type in type in Avask Group, and uh, we'll come up as one of the, the, the top and Awesome. Yeah. We'll have a link to that down below as well. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks. Thanks, Kevin.